Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I've gotten this question quite a bit recently um, about having a healthy pregnancy and not gaining too much weight and that type of a thing. So for some of you that are like, oh yeah, well totally, just keep your eating under control, right? But for women that I work with oftentimes, and this has been, this happens in every group that I do for the 12 week challenge. Um, I will be working with women on getting their hormones balanced, all these other things. And oftentimes women have a goal of, I wanna get my hormones balanced and I wanna lose a little bit of weight cause I wanna get pregnant, da 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 da. But once we start working on hormones, all of a sudden things click in their body and they just get pregnant really fast. Um, a positive side effect of working on your hormones. Mm, yeah. So with that in mind, sometimes women are like, okay, dang it. I mean, I, I wasn't thinking that I would get pregnant right now, but I am. And uh, I wanted to lose 20 pounds though before I gained 30. And now I'm already, you know, 20 pounds overweight, right? So wh what do I do? What do I do, right? And here's some suggestions or just some things to think about as you go through this. Um, there is no right or wrong answer here, I think, for people, but I want to give you a different perspective on this to go into and what I recommend for a lot of women and what just can be helpful um, for women. And I'll share a story with you about a gal I worked with last year about the weight transformation she had during her pregnancy. So I'll use this example of say you were, you know, you had an additional 20 pounds on you and you're like, okay. I want to lose this weight and then get pregnant so that if I gain 30, I'm not worried, that's fine, right? Okay, but all of a sudden, you get preggers and you're like, oh, okay, so exciting, so early, ha. Huh? Now what? Because do I try and lose the weight now? That doesn't seem healthy. How do I manage this? How do I deal with this, right? The, the great and amazing thing about the female body is that it's gonna be variable. Now again, each person is different, each pregnancy is different, so there's no one answer here for this, but if, as long as you're focusing on a couple of things here, your body can have an amazing response. So focusing on getting enough protein, fueling your body, um, hydration, right? Of course, all the other things like your vitamins and your water um, and your greens, right? Those basic things, rest, all the things, right? But if you are getting enough protein, I sort of see that like as the baseline, anything else outside of that is sort of like a bonus, right? So it's not necessarily focusing on losing weight, but just focusing on maintaining during your pregnancy. So, um, and this again is different person to person, because keep in mind, the weight that you gain may not just be fat, right? There is a certain amount of weight gain that is pure. That's, that's, that's a baby. You know, there's a placenta, there is fluid, there's other stuff in there. Your uterus gets enormous. So yeah, that's different. <laughs> you know, the, the, they say, right, women typically gain 25 to 35 pounds during a pregnancy, blah, blah, blah. But again, this is not the same for everybody. Some women gain 15 pounds and that's normal for them. Some women gain more than that, and that's normal for them. Me, personally, I gained 60 pounds. Six zero, yeah. Six zero pounds with each of my pregnancies because I had so much swelling. Now, I was a person that, for some reason, my body was like a sponge <laughs> when I would get pregnant, so I would gain, gain weight. It wasn't fat, right? It was fluid. I was so puffy. I, my fingers were like sausages. My face was, I, I barely have any pictures of me whenever I was pregnant. Cause I don't even look like me. It's crazy. I maxed out all my sweatpants. I had to wear compression stockings. Super sexy, by the way, if you're wondering, compression stockings for maternity come up to here. <laughs> Now, when you're like nine months pregnant, trying to get those on, also very attractive to get that on, wiggle into it. But I gained 60 pounds and at least 35 or 40 of it was fluid in my system and it hurt. 
I had what's called pitting edema, which is so much swelling in my legs that even the compression stockings couldn't help with, that I could stick my finger into my skin, like shove it in my leg, up to my second knuckle here. Bury my finger into my knuckle. Holy crap. That's a lot of swelling. It hurt, it did not feel good, right? And there was nothing I could do that would change it. I did all the other things to help get that fluid out of me. Did not work. One thing that did work, gave birth. Once I had the baby, within the first week, the first three days was crazy. It just like, ugh, it was so weird and gross. But within the first week, I dropped 35 pounds of each pregnancy. Now that's not weight, right? So that's the hard thing that we think of when we're looking at our bodies and our fertility and everything else is, oh, it's weight, all that stuff. For me, it was like fluid. So within the first two months then, I had lost 50 pounds. <laughs> 55 pounds like that. But it was, it was not weight, right? It was fluid. It was fluid. So keep that in mind for you and, 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 whatever you're going through. I share that because again, people don't talk about that. And they're thinking, well, oh, just wait. I remember going to a prenatal appointment and I got on the scale and I was at my halfway mark with one of my pregnancies. And uh, I remember whoever was weighing me, they were like, well, you're already at the 30 pound mark and you're halfway. So this is the amount of weight we recommend you gain for the entire pregnancy. And I was like, yeah. That's so good for someone else, but not this person. I was like, I gained 60 pounds. It's not, it's not a big deal. And she's like, well, you know, we recommend, I was like, I understand what you recommend, but have I shown you my ankles? You can't see them. <laughs> you can't see them. Ah! Okay. So everybody's different, all that other stuff. But so keep that in mind as you're going through your own personal journey. Now, um, so the gal that I worked with last year, I'll tell you her story. We started working together, started with her hormones um, a couple months into the 12 week challenge, which I'm gonna put a link for the wait list in. I've had a lot of people ask for this um, for the next one. My last one got full right away. So I have my wait list going already. Um, for those of you that are chomping at the bit to get on the next docket for the next, um, the next challenge that I'm running, um, but so this gal, we were working on her hormones, her fertility, everything, and in, you know, past the second month, <clears throat> she got pregnant. You know, she was planning on doing that at some point that year. It happened earlier than she had planned on. Totally fine, right? But she was like, oh, shoot, I did lose about eight pounds, but I wanted more weight loss. Ooh, crap. You know, oh, what do I do now? I said, listen, so now's not the time to focus on weight loss. Let's just focus on maintenance throughout that, right? So from that point on then, we just focused on healthy energy, all that other stuff, keeping her activity going, um, shifted everything for her. And the amazing thing is that when she got to her halfway point of her pregnancy, she had gained um, almost seven pounds then. So she was almost back to where she had started when we started working together. And then for her total pregnancy weight was uh, 17, 16, 16 or 17 pounds. And such a different place to be in, right? So total, right? If we look at, you know, the weight loss that she had had initially, and then she gained, right? She lost eight, then gained 17 from where she had started, you know, with the pregnancy piece of it. She really only gained nine pounds then for her pregnancy. And I was like, listen, that's amazing. And this was her third kid. So, you know, so she was like, you know what? Because after, you know, after she had the baby and it was a couple months old and I was chatting with her and we were talking about some stuff and I was like, that's, that's so incredible. I mean, imagine how different that is now for you, you know, because the first two, she ended um, her pregnancy is like 40 pounds, about 40 pounds, um, you know, difference versus a nine pound difference. And she's like, this feels so much better, you know, to be at this point right now. I said, yes. And now you have all the tools and everything you need to just keep going with your healthy journey through, you know, being a mom again and nursing and everything. So a very different way to look at your process and look at how this journey is for you and think of, okay, I want to lose the weight so I can get pregnant and gain the weight and not feel bad. You know, that's not, you know, you don't need to worry about that. Just sort of look at it as maintaining having a healthy body composition while your body is doing this amazing thing of growing another human. So cool. 
like the coolest thing ever. So yeah, so just a very different perspective on it. Um, and again, focusing on protein, hydration, all the good things for you, the basics, but as long as you're getting in the right things here, everything will sort of even out. So that's, that's how I support women in the 12 week challenge. Um, <laughs> when, they, when they suddenly get pregnant because their hormones are all of a sudden working faster than they thought it would, faster than I expected. <laughs> when I work with women, that's something that I, I always ask, right? Like, oh, I see you want to work on your hormones. Hmm. Do you uh, plan on having kids? And some of them are like, well, yeah, maybe next year, da da da. I'm like, okay, well, we'll just add some things in now to sort of work on your fertility a little bit here, la la la. And sometimes the body's just ready for it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> So wonderful, so wonderful. All right, so that's what I got for you guys tonight. Um, just a kind of a fun, fun topic, you know, to cover. I love working with fertility. I love, love, love seeing the shift and change that women have in their bodies um, when it just starts to click and work differently. So, all right, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, for the next 12 week challenge that I have, that wait list is now there in the comments because last time we, filled up and I closed registration early. Um, so if you are thinking about it, do not hesitate to get on that wait list because the uh, registration only goes to the wait list. So have a great rest of your night. Um, let me know if you need any other, you know, support or resources. I'm here for you. Um, other things that I have for you, of course, are my podcast, The Female Health Solution. Um, my YouTube channel is called Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that. And then my book, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon talk about nutrition and hormones and cycle and all the things for women. There we go. Okay. Have a great rest of your night. I will see you later.